Yo, what's going on guys, it's PK here, and this uh, may sound a little different because right now I'm using my uh, my webcam's mic, and this is just because my uh, normal mic that I use is playing up, uh, it's not actually my mic, it's my computer, because the slots uh, ages ago they broke, and I can't really fix it for some unknown reason, so I have to use this, uh, my HD one for I don't know how long, um, you may hear, hear mouse clicks as well, and I'm sorry for that. I might be able to take them out, but I'm not too sure. But yeah. Um, so I want to go over my weekend about the double minigame rewards. So I w did say that I was going to get myself full uh, void, basically, again. Because I've already got full void elite. And I said I was going to get another one. So I didn't actually really get online. Well, I did, but I didn't. I couldn't be bothered um, actually doing it. So I never got around to doing anything. So then, as I was skilling, doing my normal days, I sort of discovered something, well, it's been, it's always been in the game, and, as you can see by my inventory, um, yeah, it's basically a way that I have mathematically worked this out, now this may be, um, a really hard to explain to you guys, but, um, I've written it down, and I can try to explain the best I possibly can. So, i on the screen now you can see a list of the things that you can uh, get double XP in so it only works for these skills so mining, woodcutting, fishing, uh, only sharks because you get a harpoon not a, like a fishing rod, hunter with a net, fletching, construction so it's basically worth doing all of these and woodcutting and mining so you don't really need to do fishing and hunter okay so I've put in a little little table here, oh hold on I've got to delete this Okay, so don't read any of this because it's going to be confusing, but okay, say this is, okay, say a skill, this is one hour, so say a skill gets 50k XP in one hour, so in two hours of doing a 50k XP an hour skill, you're going to get 100k XP in the two hours. One hour of stealing creations, well basically stealing creations is the thing I'm trying to tell you what to do. So one hour of stealing creations, you get 5.5 to 6, oh, I'm better write that, 2-6, um, uh, stealing creation equipment. So that is like 5 or 6 uh, harpoons or whatever you want. Basically I'm using uh, these hammers, sacred clay hammers for double smithing. So you can get 5.5 uh, to 6 of them per hour there. So, basically, in the time, um, so here's the person using the double XP. So, basically, in the first hour, they're going to be getting zero experience in the skill that this person's getting, because obviously they're at Sterling Creations, not training the skill. In the next hour, they will get 100k XP. So, they, so, they've done two hours, and they've done two hours, so they've both done two hours and have gained exactly the same amount of XP. This leads the pers leaves the person that has done the stealing creations with two to three uh, double XP equipment left, which basically means that they can then go and get an extra 50k experience for uh, at the same rate. So basically, in the next hour, this person will get another 100k, and this person will end up with 50k. So in three hours, this person will only get 150k and this person 200k so basically what I'm trying to say is only of those skills that you've seen before um, this works for but uh, I'm also gonna t I also need to tell you the friends chat and which world and stuff so hang on just one second so this also does save money and time um, which helps a lot of players if you don't get much time on the game or if you want to get up your skills that cost a lot of money unfortunately you can't do this with every skill but yeah um, I hope that sort of explains um, if you if you need more help I can try and explain it to you in the comments uh, leave a comment if you're stuck on anything but if you can sort of I, I'm pretty sure I showed this basically how it works if not rewatch it a couple of times I'm pretty sure I explained it now back to it uh, I do this in world 99 uh, which is a members world and this is a members activity the friends chat is called fast space if uh, sc which i'll put in the description and the world in the description as well 
basically you join this fringe chat and you wait around um, in world 99 stone creations you use your games necklace to get there and here's a good example he um, to, sw to go into the world that um, I mean not the world sorry the fringe chat that they want uh, you read here they do the equals around it usually to um, tell you basically to switch to that so they say fast SC456 for start so you leave this friend chat because this is the friend chat you always go in but to start he said he said fast SC456 so you join that and you wait in the um, gates so as you see there's a lot of people here just make sure that everyone that there's blue dots on your mini map when you're there basically they'll show you, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about when you're there but you join this and when you get put into the into the certain creations game you leave this friend chat this is just to get into the game and like stuff like that then you go back into fast SC and that basically uh, you need to equip a bow as well so you can't attack other people I uh, might need to say this as well that this is a non-combat uh, certain creation so um, you can get the most um, clay out of your time spent there and you can get more tools per hour basically uh, for, for those who don't know the games last 20 minutes but if you collect all the uh, clay in time the game ends in these friends chat the games usually last only 10 minutes hence the reason why six uh, clay weapons per hour for double XP I hope this helped um, if you need any more help in the friends chat they tell you here uh, when they say stuff like C5S West Wall, that means Class 5 um, S, what is S? <laughs> I don't even know, but it's like, say for example, C5R, that's Class 5 Rock, like a uh, mining rock, so you need 80 mining to mine that, and West Wall, so it basically tells you where it is. So they do help you out, and um, yeah, so hopefully you guys understand this sort of method I'm trying to explain to you, and it is worth it, the time and the... Um, and the effort spent there so yeah i hope you guys can get that xp up as fast as you possibly can and please leave a rating on this video and i for one am almost um 80 smith uh smithing and i still have heaps of tools this is still in an hour i've still got another tool ready to collect and this is just one hour so i got one two three four and i've got another tool there five and i didn't quite stay for an hour so um, it is definitely worth it if you don't believe me, work it out for yourself. If not, I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.